Every year, Coach Dunphy gives us a, a great non-conference schedule. We have a lot of teams that we play. We have a tough non-league uh, schedule. We play four teams in the top 25. This season, it, it happens to be Duke later in February. It was Georgetown and Maryland. Well, we had a tough games so far, and, and probably the toughest non-conference one, which was, I believe, Georgetown. Playing Georgetown was a big game for us. A couple hours later, the win was over, and we just had to focus on the next game. Games like Maryland and games like Georgetown and showed some toughness in us. As long as we know what we're here for and, and what we got to do to win, I think we're on the right track. Obviously, we have the, the Philadelphia Big Five games uh, highlighted by our, our opportunity against Villanova, uh, who's a nationally prominent program. You want the greatest challenge in front of you, and uh, you also want to give the opportunity to your student athletes to go to a great town, a great facility, a great program, so that they again remember these opportunities that are in front of them. A big part of your life goes through what happens on the basketball court. I feel lucky enough to be here at Temple and to have been successful the past year. You find out where you stand right away. That's a very good barometer as to how well our season can be and what we have to work on. We can get it done in practice. We can work on what we need to, and you find out what your weaknesses are fast. Got a guard ready. Hey. Now hold up, hold up. You gotta shoot the ball better than that tomorrow night. Under control. Big shot, Mo Nash. We can play well against uh, Villanova. I think it will help us as we get in the Atlantic 10. Just competing at a high level against some of the top teams in the nation, you know, it really gets us ready. And we have some good teams in, in our conference as well. The goal for, for this program and most programs is at the beginning of the year, you'd like to try and be champions of your conference. So in order to do that, obviously, you need to win your conference games. You always do a good job of winning your conference title. You always have a good chance of winning the conference championship. And we, we did a good job of doing that the last three years. The Atlantic 10 champion gets the automatic berth to the NCAA tournament, which in our profession is the ultimate goal. Out of conference games, non conference games really prepare you for that league play. You usually play your non conference first and then your conference. If you want to think about the next step, you got to get ready for the second part of the year, which is the one you're trying to do best at to get to the NCAA tournament. And confidence is going to be hard because every team, you know, knows who we are, you know, and want to come and get a victory as well as we do. You typically know what the team likes to do uh, when you're talking about conference games. Some teams we played twice. A lot of teams played last year, so we kind of get a sense of what their teams are like. You know what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, so you have a better idea, and you can prepare a little bit better because you see them so often, and, and you get. Uh, a better feel for what you're, you're going up against. Familiarity of the team helps us in our preparation, and we mentioned uh, a, a certain guy. They remember him. They know him from last year. They see him from the summer. They see him on TV. It makes it a little bit easier to prepare for these type of teams. We do the same thing. No matter if we're playing non-conference or conference games, uh, we're trying to uh, give all the kids an idea of what each player on the, on the opposition does. We split up the schedule in thirds, and we each wind up with about 10 games each during the year, non-league games and league games. Next game that I have is Villanova. We'll talk about some of their, their offense, their transition, their great spacing that they have, and some of the sets that they run. Corey Frischer just has great body control, changes the speeds, and is able to, able to score there in transition. Nova has some of the best off the dribble guards in the country, with Corey Fisher and Malik Waynes. And they shoot in great percentages from, you know, outside, and they're very crafty. Same set here, they're gonna up screen, or they're gonna fake the screen, they're gonna pop the corner, we got a stack over here. And that's all Stokes needs, is to get some space on you to get that three off. They have a lot of talent, score, and they, they present a lot of problems for us. It presents a great challenge, but I think they understand the strengths of the opponent a little bit better because they watch it on TV, they read about it in the paper, they play against these guys in the summertime.
They got some guys that we played against, like Malik Waynes and Corey Stokes and, you know, Fisher. And playing against our friends, you know, that on the opposite team help us a lot because we know their game a little bit, so we try to use that to our advantage and, you know, like, in a way, so I think it helped us a lot. Yeah, we see them play enough to, to know their playing personnel, so we just got to go out there and execute. It does help the opponent as well as it, as it helps us. They do know you, and then they, they can take away a lot of our tendencies. They know how to play uh, Juan Fernandez or Ramon Moore a certain way. It's a want to win to show people where we are as a basketball program as of now going into conference play. For Nova, the focus level is, is up like from 100% to like 150%. Everybody's zoned in because everybody wants to get this win.